this lecture uh, uh, we will discuss about high frequency response of an amplifier when we study a response of an amplifier completely when we see the response of any amplifier we see that uh, the, the response means how does gain vary how does phase difference between input and output vary by varying the frequency that complete response which includes amplitude response of gain that is gain amplitude response and second is phase response when we combine the two we call it as response of an amplifier and when we see the response of an amplifier we the response of an amplifier is generally like this we see the response of an amplifier the response of an amplifier is like this this is our frequency and this is the amplitude of gain g we are talking about the the gain response so we can see that in the middle frequency also there is there is some nature of response in middle of the frequency there is a nature of response you can see here that and at lower frequency side there is a nature of response and high frequency side there is a nature of response so let us study that at low frequency and at high frequency how does an amplifier respond to the input signal so here we are discussing about high frequency response of an amplifier means these response we are trying to study that is uh, the response of high frequency side when we see its equivalent circuit when we draw the equivalent circuit of an amplifier for high frequency response the circuit is like this r1 and c1 there is an input signal and there is one output signal what will be the gain can we determine the gain vo divided by vi we can write av here or voltage gain or gain simply how can we write it that is 1 upon sc1 divided by 1 upon sc1 plus r1 1 upon sc1 we are writing in laplace domain so how can we write 1 upon sc1 divided by 1 upon sc1 plus r1 if we simplify this it can be written as 1 upon sc1 into r1 this is the gain 1 upon 1 plus sc1 r1 what is this this is 1 upon s is j omega that is j 2 pi f c1 and r1 this is a b so when we discuss the amplitude magnitude of gain but before uh, getting the magnitude of gain let us replace 1 upon 2 pi r1 and c1 as a constant value you will we will understand very soon that what is the meaning of this constant value let us replace it by a term fh fh is a cutoff frequency why h is there because this is high frequency response cutoff frequency in the high frequency response of an amplifier 1 upon 2 pi r1 and c1 and if we substitute that value we will write av as we can see that 1 plus j f divided by fh f divided by fh and and when we determine its magnitude we can discuss phase response also the magnitude is like square root of 1 plus f divided by fh square let us study this let us study further that uh, if f is equal to 0 what is gain is equal to 1 if f is equal to fh let us try to define this fh what is this fh at fh what happens when we substitute it your av exactly becomes 1 upon root 2 this is 1 this is second case and third case is if f tending to infinity what happens if f tends to infinity your uh, voltage gain the magnitude becomes 0 it tends towards 0 so all these points can be plotted if f equal to 0 it is 1 if f equal to fh it is 1 upon root 2 and thirdly when it is tending to infinity frequency the gain becomes gain is tending towards infinity can we can we can we plot this yes we can plot 
this is magnitude and this frequency. See that at zero frequency, what is the value? One. So it is one. What about f h? It is one upon root two. So what is relationship? Parabolically, it is going to reduce. It is getting down. So what will be the the response? The response will be like this, like this, and. Where it will be one upon root two, one upon root two is nothing but zero point seven zero seven times, zero point seven zero seven times. This is V O by V I. So output signal is one upon root two times of input signal zero point seven zero seven times, and this we call it call as F H. That is cut off frequency, and this is the response of uh, amplifier in high frequency. And we, when when we compare this response. With the total response of amplifier, we can see that the high frequency response is uh, it looks uh, it, it it's there in the complete response of amplifier. Uh, whenever we go towards high frequency, sorry, go towards low frequency, response goes towards unity. What does it mean? The signal strength is uh, signal strength is good. Whenever voltage gain is one, what does it mean? It means output signal is equal to input signal. So amplification is one. Input signal is as it is passed to input signal. So sometimes we call this also as because we can see that when we are moving towards high frequency, there is an attenuation, gain is reduced. When we are going towards low frequency, the signal is uh, the, the gain is becoming one. It means V O by V I is becoming one. So we can say that the input signal is passed to output signal towards low frequency. And sometimes high frequency response is called as low pass filter response. The response of low pass filter. Low pass filter. Why it is low pass filter? It is passing low frequency signals. And when we are going to high frequency signal, the signals are attenuated. Attenuated means the gain is less than one, and it is getting down, going down and down. It means output signal is much much lesser than input signal because of that much attenuation. So this is also called as low pass filter. so high frequency response of an amplifier is the response of low pass filter where in the lower frequency side the signal is passed and uh, amplified good and when you go towards high frequency side there is a attenuation and this is the response of high uh, amplifier in high frequency what is important term here what is important term which we are uh, which we have to discuss here one more thing is why this FH is taken as cutoff frequency. There is some other name also. This FH is also called as FH 3 dB frequency, 3 dB cutoff frequency. We simply sometimes write as 3 dB frequency. Why do we call it as 3 dB frequency? It is called as 3 dB frequency because we know that whenever we define uh, voltage gain in terms of dB, you all know that 20 log to the base 10 AV. We get The the value in dB. So when we uh, at, at at zero frequency, the maximum amplitude magnitude of gain is one, and F H what happens? This comes to be one upon root two. So when we compare this divided by one upon root two, so how much reduction is there? What is the factor? One upon one upon root two. Because when we uh, calculate in dB, this will be one by one by root two. So log of root two to the base ten. Log of two to the power one upon two, so that comes to be zero point three zero three zero multiplied by twenty is zero point zero point three zero three zero and one upon two will come here. So this comes to be exactly for this case three dB comes for this. When you go from one to one upon root two, your uh, uh, the gain is reduced by three dB. This reduction is. Reduced by 3 dB, and therefore we call this cutoff frequency also as 3 dB cutoff frequency. Uh, so this is about uh, high frequency response of amplifier. Thank you.